everyone and um, welcome back to a new video or series. Today we are playing in the zombie apocalypse series that is new to my channel. So here are the main characters. So this is Farana, and then we got Amara, my main character or the main sim who is Mary Ella. Recently, as you have seen in the trailer or at the start of the series, there is zombies. And as you can see, there's a zombie outside already. For some reason, it's very quiet and the sky is very nice. Okay, so it is actually began to rain in San Masuno, oddly enough, even though it's summer. And this is like very strange because it normally doesn't rain in San Masuno that much. And as you can see, there's a zombie. As you can see, they're really upset. Uh, Mariella is more like tense because she's just a bit like annoyed because she just moved into this apartment and she just wants to do art and of course you know, she has to find a way to survive this world so yeah she's not very happy so what I think they're gonna do is block up the door okay so they kind of tried doing the best job of like locking up the doors hopefully um so it looks a bit bare now and they just moved into this apartment and for it Farina, probably like Ugh, whatever I'm not gonna decorate this someone just get me a roommate kind of vibe because she is the roommate um, and of course Marinella is paying the rent and then you got Mara who just visit from afar because she's from another part of the city um, so of course she's kind of like this is shocking news so I feel like a sleepover at the moment is okay because I just feel like this is gonna be the safest option especially because there's a zombie outside just like running wild like literally she's like a flash so yeah these girlies are gonna be scared i don't know why for uh far far is scared because normally she'd probably be strong about this but anyway she has welcomed mary ella with open arms of course they have laundry to do but i don't think this is important at the moment so it is 7 p.m so i'm gonna get them to bed and then tomorrow they can plan what they want to do Okay, so this is the apartment, um, and as you can see, there's people running around outside, kind of worried. And her room was kind of destroyed because I feel like Farana's last roommate was very like toxic. Because you know, Farana probably has like this weird characteristic that is just not safe at all. So it's kind of like a rundown place, and as you can see, she hasn't unpacked yet, like that she hasn't unpacked at all and now she has to pack up again just to leave so because the girls are sleeping over now they're back to where they was so if you didn't know Marella came here for art she likes doing art and that's why she came here because this is like the closest place to go for art university because she's in university and of course Amara's like someone special for her um, like she's like her best friend someone special of course Amara's from another town probably like I don't know if it's like probably Del Valley or something whilst Mirella probably came here you know because of school and now she has to leave again apocalypse is happening so I feel like these girls are gonna get up now and be like well we can't really sleep because of what's happening outside because it's heavily rain Amara is a lazy sim, so of course she's kind of sleeping through this. Um, hopefully she'll get up at some point. Okay, so Amara just got up and was like kind of sad, you know, she's like kind of worried. Of course, Amara probably got really scared about this and isn't very happy or like very scared about this, of course. And then of course, Amara's kind of gonna be like, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna get this through together. You know, can you like come along with me whilst we like try surviving as like hell of like the world is just like completely ending on them. So I feel like a Mar like Mariella would be like, this is such a po big problem. Like, I just moved here and I'm just gonna like, and now I have to like, we gotta leave. Like, it's so annoying. Like, why do we have to like? We need to find somewhere safe. We need to go somewhere, like maybe to like the outer part of town, uh, town. So like the city, so kind of San Sequoia. Like this is so, like you know, like I just don't like this. This is, it just feels so out of place, you know. That I'm worried, like for our future, you know. I'm scared. Like what if something happens, you know? Like 
And then Amara probably be like, yeah, I, I I got you, girl. Like we're gonna do this together. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna leave your side. We can be here together. Like just don't worry. And I feel like Amara would be like discussing her problems, kind of like I come here to check on you, and now like all oh, this is happening. Like I'm really really sorry. I will always be here by your side. And then she probably gets a text from her, like mum saying, "Hey, how are you? This an apocalypse. This is so scary, you know." So she's kind of like, "Oh, like you know, they kind of like just texting their parents, being like, "Yeah, we're fine. Like stop texting, kind of." Like Amara just doesn't look happy at all. She looks like really stressed over everything. Like probably she's stressed because you know, like. Um, you know, like, because, you know, she's come here for, like, learning and now she has to leave and probably she doesn't know where the money's gonna go because, of course, they're just not gonna know where anything is. So, what I feel like they should do is have it, they just clean up for a bit and then, you know, they're having, like, a really, like, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like this is, like, what they're gonna be like, oh, this is, like, the old days, you know, type of thing. You know, like they used to have this friendship when they was younger, and this is how they, like when they was younger, they probably joked about stuff like this, and now it's real. They're like, oh, 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 uh, how am I gonna survive this? Like, uh, you know, they kind of just like worried, you know, for each other. Even if she's more stressed about her, you know, like her school, but also I feel like she'd be kind of secretly worried about Amir, uh, Amir. A mirror like died down now at night so they probably leave first thing in the morning because if it's quiet at night it should be quiet in the morning as well so you know they still kind of complain about the problems but anyway once they do this farana is still asleep but i think there is something that she just doesn't want to tell anyone because she says to maria like Mira Ella, she's kind of like a sweet, you know, like a someone nice and kind, like someone who allowed her to stay in his apartment. So she doesn't see any bad in Faraha. But of course, Amira probably like a bit like untrustworthy because probably what happened was Amira kind of was looking for a apartment um, that was cheap, and of course, what was free was the one that they chose. Okay, so Amira is in bed now and we're just waiting for her bestie. 